Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super special and super exciting. We are going in with the Mac Daddy and Static John collection. We are going to be going in with the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, the diamond finisher, and a little lipstick. And I'm so excited to be doing this with you guys. Amazing. If you guys want to know how I created this look, please make sure you guys keep on watching. Okay, so for eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay Brow Beater. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just because I do take a little while to get them how I want them. So I'll do them off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to go in with the base for my eyelid. I'm using the Laura Mercier A flawless fusion so pretty so i'm a huge fan of him so enough talking let me just get into the makeup um i'm gonna go in with bottle service bottle service which is this pink right there so going in on the crease Now going in with Fuck It Up Sis, which is this purple right here. So yeah, as I was saying, um, usually Friday nights, um, it was like, like the day that Hector would be able to wake up with the kids. So I would be able to stay up a little bit later. Um, so I ended up starting to watch the the lives. And you just see like, you know, the funniest things on there. Like the song association, that was funny too. Just things, you know, that you, you kind of... It kind of was fun to watch, especially everybody stuck at home, you know, it's a Friday night and you're so used to doing something. I think that that's, um, like you've seen so many people on there, the comments on there. It was just, it was actually like a really, it ended up being so entertaining to watch. So, um, I ended up watching, like watching it all the time. Um, and staying up so late. And that was, again, when the quarantine started, I was drinking a lot. So it was just entertaining to watch. I was probably, like, sitting there with the buzz, just, you know, watching it. So it was, it was fun. I'm going to go in with the same color, but a different brush. A more softer, precise one. I was already a huge fan of him. Um, but, um, it definitely, like made me a bigger fan of his personality um he's such a cancer by the way like he's the definition of a cancer like it's so funny are you guys a, are you guys a zodiac type of person like let me know down below i'm a virgo i'm like i'm not organ i'm not organized at all i like my stuff organized but i'm not organized <laughs> Um, I try to be, but honestly, it's just very, very hard. I definitely do like my things, like, in, by, like, a certain way. But I wouldn't consider myself the most organized person. But definitely, in order to function better, I do work better in an organized space. Going back in with that bottle service, that mauve shade. Just kind of going over that. And then going in with a hot pink shade, this twerk off. I'm going to be adding it on the crease on top of those colors. Remember, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Going in with that purple shade again. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to go in and cut the crease and I'm going to go, oh my gosh. I'm going to go in with my same Laura Mercy A concealer. going in with static oh my god how pretty is that going in on the other eye oh my lord Now going in with a more precise brush, I'm going to go in to get as close to that little line as I can. Oh my god, you guys. This is the most beautiful color ever. Shade, period. God, I'm obsessed with these colors. <gasps> that is so pretty. Boom. Going in with that same brush that I applied the lilac shadow, I'm just going to go in and blend that out. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the Fuck it up, sis, to the outside and bringing it in lightly. Now going in with some eyeliner, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. And then I'm going to smoke it out with um, Big Mike. Going in with my MAC mascara, I'm going to be laying that on my lashes. Let me know down below who watched um, the Friday lives. I want to know. Now I'm going to go in and apply some lashes and I will be right back. Now that I have that, I'm just going to go ahead and reapply my eyeliner just to make sure everything's nice and black. Just like that. And then I went ahead and cleaned off the bottom of the eyes for all the fallout. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with primer and foundation and get started on the face. My Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. Going in with a little bit and applying that on my T-zone area. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but that made a drastic difference in my skin already. Going in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecting Liquid. And I just go in a little bit with my fingertips and just go ahead and apply it here on my face and it really makes a difference to make personally my skin um, very glowy and radiant and with the last of it I'm gonna be going in um, and one pump of my Fenty Beauty just to make it last and give me a little bit more coverage and I'm gonna be mixing that with my fingertip and applying that on my skin Oop, that was a lot and the reason I personally am going in with a brush because I want the most coverage from this foundation. And I've noticed that applying it with a brush just gives me um, more coverage rather than it just sticking on the sponge. Um, a day that I'm going for a more natural wear, I would definitely go in with a beauty blender. Um, but I personally want more coverage especially you guys know me with my acne and my acne scars i definitely always want the most out of my the most coverage out of my foundations 
going in with concealer, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You guys know I love this. I'm going in with my e.l.f. sponge. I love this, you guys. And um, I can't remember exactly how much it cost, but I know it wasn't more than $10. This works so good. I really don't even need the beauty blender. Like, it works that good. So if you guys haven't tried this sponge, definitely go get it. I got mine from Target. It works amazing. And for contour, I'm going to be going in with my KKW. Going in with my KKW contour stick. I'm actually going to go in with my sponge and just and now for the nose I'm going to go in with my little brush and just bring that all the way up into the eyebrow and down. Same to the other side I'm going to go in to the eyebrow and bring it back down. Going in with my Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie. I'm going to be baking under the eye with this. Now while that sets under the eye, I'm actually gonna be going in and, I'm actually gonna be going in and doing my waterline. Going back in with the palette. I know I look crazy right now. It's okay. It'll all be cleaned up. I'm going to go in with Buck It Up Sis, which is this purple shade right there. And going with the precise brush and just applying that under the eye. Twerk off. I'm going to be applying that under. And then going in with a little bit of the Big Mike. And in with Static, which is the lavender shade right there. I'm going to go in with that right there. I'm going to go in with that lilac shade. I'm going to be applying it, oh, right there. Kind of the whole inner corner to um, the bottom inner corner, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to wet the brush just a little bit. Just wetting the brush made a big difference. I'm gonna dust off the powder under the eye. And also under the cheek area. And then just kind of with the leftover tapping where we're going to go in with bronzer. Just so our bronzer does not move when we apply it. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my NARS Laguna bronzer and applying that on my cheekbones. Now going in with that same bronzer brush and that same bronzer, I'm going to be just contouring my nose right over where we went in with that liquid, I mean with the KKW stick. Now for blush, I'm going to be going in with my NARS Exposed Palette. And this is what the palette looks like. How pretty are those? These two colors right here. Same to the other side. I'm kind of going over that with the bronzer because I did go a little heavy on the blush and now for an exciting part going in with the static artist couture highlighter how beautiful
I love my brow highlight. Bitch, look at that. You know what, we're gonna do the most and we're gonna be applying our all nighter setting spray. Yep, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> going with the, in with the fan brush. Just look at that. I love a beautiful highlighter. For lip liner, I'm gonna be going in with Makeup Talk. So now for lipstick, I'm gonna be going in with the Artist Couture Lipstick. And I personally feel like this look just needs a gloss to top it off for me, for what I have going on. So you guys know I'm gonna go in with my favorite, my Nisi Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Ranger. And I'm just gonna top that off. So I'm gonna go on top of this lilac shade right here that I have going on in the inner corner and I'm gonna go in with the Diamond Lights Finisher and just tap it and kind of blend it in there. Ooh, look at that. It literally and that was just a, like the tiniest, tiniest bit of the Diamond Lights finisher. I'm just going to go in with some lower lash line mascara. And then I'm going to go in with some clear brow gel. And this look will be done. Alright guys, this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below any other videos you may want to see on my channel and the other looks. Um, especially if you guys want me to keep playing with this eyeshadow palette. I definitely do. I did. I, I really, really loved the palette. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you guys don't already and make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell notification to be notified every time I do post a video and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.